Hello everyone, Vincent Deal from HTTP Test here. I'm sitting in front of an LG C10 or CX. This is the 65 inch version. And I wanted to show you a secret FreeSync or VRR menu that a Twitter user has been kind enough to alert me to. So thanks a lot, Matt. Fantastic work. So let's start by showing you what this menu is all about. So if you button spam the green button on your Magic Remote, what it will do is to summon an Easter egg menu that will relay all the free sync or VRR information. Now, obviously the header says free sync information, but we found that it is applicable to HDMI forum VRR and also G-Sync as well. So there are four lines here and you can see here that the TV is currently running in G-Sync and you know, it just shows up as VRR here. So I'll just show you my NVIDIA control panel. You can see that you know G-Sync is enabled. And then you can see that this TV is running at UHD resolution, 120 frames per second. And then with RGB 10 bit, 10 gigs at four lane, which is the FRL or fixed rate link transmission. And then what we'll do is we will start the G-Sync pendulum demo. And here you can see the frame rate clearly fluctuating because of the fluctuation on the G-Sync demo. Now, I think, you know, what I'm going to do is to try and change the frame rate slightly. So, right, you know, the frame rate is a bit small and I don't really want to appear in the footage to spoil the view. I'm a bit camera shy, to be honest. So, uh, let's set it like this and you can see the frame rates uh, fluctuating. Now, I'm not entirely sure why it is that it is only limited to 5 hertz maximum. I suppose it is probably operating at a factor of 20. So if you times 20, that will be the real time frame rate of the screen in terms of the VRR or variable refresh rate. Now, I wanted to get out from here and show you what happens when we hook up an Xbox. So with the Xbox, you know, this is Assassin's Creed Origin, I think. And if we spam the green button again, and you can see here, the box, the Easter egg box, you know, can pop up at any four corners of the screen from my experience, you know, putting some joy in the randomness of your daily experience. But you can see here that it is actually fluctuating near 60 hertz as well and with VRR active and if I can point towards here you can see the last two characters are TM this means that the source device is using HDMI 2.0 TMDS TMDS stands for transmission minimized differential signaling and this is the way to transmit the data through HDMI 2.0 B ports and Again, you know, once again confirming that the Xbox One X doesn't really have a true HDMI 2.1 chipset with FRL. But what I wanted to do also is to show you the difference between FreeSync and VRR. So if we go into the user menu of the TV and we activate FreeSync Premium, what this will do is to change the edit of the TV so that it signals to the source device that FreeSync is supported, but it will also has to disable Dolby Vision to clear up some space for the new edit characters. So if we get up from here and we spam the green button again, I do wonder <laughs> where the box will pop up now. And you can see here that it is signaling that it is FreeSync active. And obviously the frame rate is fluctuating as well. But if I'm honest with you, I think there is no advantage to actually activating FreeSync on LG C10 or CX. And I think, you know, C9 owners who keep complaining that they're not getting the FreeSync update, I genuinely don't think you are missing out on anything at all. Because the LG OLEDs, including the C10 and C9, they both support the open standard HDMI forum VRR, which is sufficient, you know, for all intents and purposes. So you're not getting anything extra by activating FreeSync. You're only losing 
Dolby Vision. So I think, you know, even if you are using an AMD card, I'm genuinely not sure what sort of advantage you would get over HDMI Forum VR. Maybe some of you can put me right there. But, you know, from the console point of view, I genuinely don't think that you need FreeSync because the Xbox Series X and also the Sony PS5, they will all support the base open standard of HDMI Forum VRR. I hope you found this information useful, this secret pop-up menu that tells you and confirms the VRR capabilities of your TV. And before I end this video, what I wanted to show you is what happens if we disable G-Sync. So if we disable G-Sync, then if we summon the FreeSync VR menu again, you can see that you know it says that it is fixed, which means that this is running at a fixed frame rate, albeit still at 10 gigs at fall in the full 40 gigabits per second of HDMI 2.1 bandwidth. So I hope you found this video slightly illuminating. I think this is an additional way for you to confirm that VRR or G-Sync or FreeSync is indeed working on your LG C10 or CX. And if you would like to watch some of our videos discussing the interaction between these NVIDIA cards and VRR and also the LG OLEDs, I've created a playlist here and I'll see you in the next video. Yeah.